Have you ever wondered about those who dream of a better life versus those who create it? Are you waiting to accomplish your dreams and goals? Welcome to Create It Now with your hosts, Jonathan Stone and Dawn Elizabeth. For the next 60 minutes, we're going to put your dreams into motion and create it now. Now. The phone lines are open at 731-1230. That's 731-1230. Or toll free 1-866-820-5528. That's 1-866-820-KLAV. Now, let's bring on the host and create it now. now. Here is Jonathan Stone and Don Elizabeth. Hello and welcome to the Create It Now radio show here in 2014. Sounds so weird saying that. I huh? know, right? Your host, Don Elizabeth, Jonathan Stone. And Jonathan, how are you today? I'm doing wonderful. Yeah? Um, yeah. It was a are you rec- recovered from all the holidays? Not fully. Not, Not fully? fully. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Party, party. There you go. Yes. Good times. No, we had a great time. A lot of friends, a lot of family. Nice. And um, it was really nice. And no, you have to have a shout out to my mother. His birthday was yesterday, and I didn't say it the day before, so she got a little upset. So happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday. Also, to tomorrow, one of our past guests and um, someone who gave us a shout out, Danny Vegas. His birthday right. is tomorrow. Happy birthday, Danny. Yeah. But Very cool way to start the new year, having yeah. a birthday. Yeah, January 1st. Well, we actually threw a large party, so that was kind of nice. Had yeah. a lot of friends and family, and um, yeah, it was good. It was good nice. energy, a good way to start. Good way to start the new year, ready to get it going, moving it forward. How about you? Yeah, taking action, creating taking action. it. So ready to do it. Yeah. yeah. I had, did you make any uh, New Year's resolutions? Of course. Well, you remember we discussed that. Like, I'm making new week resolutions. The year's <laughs> like too long, or like a month resolution and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> But I think what the greatest thing is about starting a new year, um, life's always a work in progress. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can do, you know, little things each time. And, you know, every day is a brand new day. So you get a new opportunity. Right. And brand new year, you could say. But if you look at it and break it down more as like a brand new day, um, a fresh start, replace negativity with positive thinking. Right. Um, think happy thoughts, exercise, you know, drink lots of water, fill your body with fuel. Um laugh yeah inspire others help others make a difference make change if you feel you know. good other people around you right. will feel good which in turn will create change uh, hang around with positive people yeah, i mean those are all my new year res- resolutions which and i mean a new year is a good time to for when we forget of those things that we are doing and we kind of have put things to the back burner it's always a good time to kind of rejuvenate those and start again it's just kind of a reset right. of the clock exactly. not necessarily that we should just wait till the new year to start things you i know, know we always do that <laughs> right um but journaling too mm-hmm. you know what you've accomplished what yeah. you want what your dreams are what your goals are um, perform random acts of kindness you know take a chance on an idea that you believe in right absolutely I mean, right now is a perfect opportunity to create and start all this um the holidays have gone right which they'll be back like which all like the exercising like, starts today. Oh, my God. The eating is insane. <laughs> exactly. Insane. <Yeah. laughs> Drop. Give me 10. <laughs> oh, my God. I'd pass out. Seriously. Yeah. And do you remember we talked about those different questions to ask yourself every right. day to get your day going? Like, what's one thing you love about your life to keep you in that positive mindset right. that you keep were talking going. about? You know, also, um, what's one thing you would regret not fully doing, being, or having in your life? Right. So if you ask that your, that question each day, in the end, you wouldn't have those regrets because you can fulfill those different things that you know that you would regret not doing. Right. And talk- then, oh, and real quick, our last one was, what do you need to spend more time doing or less time doing? Exactly. And then putting those into action each day so that you have kind of a base to find that happiness right. and when you wake up in the morning you have a choice if you want to make today a good day a positive day yeah. a bad day yeah um decide today's going to be the day just say it hey you know what wake up and say today is my day right. i'm going to create i'm going to make things happen i'm going to make change it's always your choice only yeah. you can decide that if you want to decide to have a negative outlook on something that's your choice if yeah. you want to decide to have a positive outlook that's your choice and 
the choice is right because it's yours. You just have to decide which side of the fence you want to go. Right. And and what's so wonderful about um, the whole new year, it's like a whole new journey. And remember mm-hmm. we talked about that before. When one journey ends, another one starts. Yeah. Absolutely. And so, you know, create, go out there, do what you want to do. This is a perfect time. Like I said, the holiday seasons, because that's the greatest time to make excuses. Yeah. Oh, I can't get hold of anybody. Nobody's right. calling me back. It's the holiday season. <laughs> now it's like everybody's recuperating. Nobody's calling right. me back. <laughs> well, yeah, the one thing, I mean, through 2013, we've done a bunch of different things, and I've really loved everything that I've done in my life and where I'm where I'm going, the path I'm on, things like that. And it's almost like, even though this goes into a new year, it was almost like a break in the way that I just wanted to continue through the holidays, but I had to stop and remember, enjoy the moment, enjoy the people around. And that was, exactly. cause that's something that is hard for me to do. So I had to remember, okay, it's okay. Right. Take the break, enjoy the holidays, connect with family, friends, and then Which is really pick it nice. back up. Yeah. And then one of our New Year's resolutions, because it drives um, our engineer crazy, Lawrence, the word right. Yes. And I just said, I realized it today. <laughs> Did you say How it? many times <laughs> I'm saying right, so now I'm going to change it to exactly or uh-huh. <laughs> we're, we should come up with a list of words we could say besides the besides word right, right, and then we'll just slowly go through. Each day we'll pick a new word, <laughs> the word of the day. <laughs> So Lawrence can sit there and have to count them all day. Oh, yeah, no, because that was the deal. Every time we say the word right, he has to take a drink. Yeah. That's our New Year's resolution for you. Exactly. (laughs) Because we can't have him being drunk anymore. (laughs) Kind of slows down the pace of the show. Right. He plays those weird sound effects. Right. Right. There you go. That's two drinks. (laughs) Uh Uh-oh. Man, this is going to be a rough day for him, I think. It's been a rough day for us yeah. now. It's great. Yeah. So, But today we have another amazing guest. I'm super excited right. to bring him in after our break and really talk to him about what he's doing here in the community and the difference he's making and how others can also make that same type of difference. Right. So you're listening to the Create It Now radio show. Don't forget to find us on Facebook. Or follow us on Twitter at Dream It, Create It. And check out the website, www.createitnowmedia.com. And we will be right back. Hi, everyone. This is New Media Vegas, your Sin City Webmasters in Las Vegas, Nevada. More than just web design, complete integrated marketing with inspired innovations in delivery of your new media message, putting the groove and the backbeat back in your brand. The hottest in design trends with the latest innovations and marketing techniques. Call New Media Vegas at 702-517-0184. Or visit us online at www.newmediavegas.com. Don't forget to check out our online magazine, Sin City Presents. Featuring business, technology, fashion, dining, and entertainment news. 702-517-0184. Hey, it's Roxy from the 702 Rock Show. Right here at VegasAllNetRadio.com. Listen to my show every Friday, 4 to 5 p.m. to hear about local artists, musicians, fashion designers, and more right here in Las Vegas. So tune in every Friday, 4 to 5 p.m. to hear me, Michelle Roxy Davis, right here at BANR on the 702 Rock Show. (laughs) This is Les Brown, Mrs. Mamie Brown's baby boy. Those of you that are listening, I encourage you to listen to Create It Now because it will teach you how to live full and die empty, how to begin to manifest your greatness and make your mark. Create It Now, now. continues. Join the conversation at 702-731-1230 or email create at createitnowmedia.com. Here again, your host, Jonathan Stone and Don Elizabeth. Hello and welcome back to the Create It Now radio show. Today in studio with us, we have a special guest, Arnold Stock, who is the founder and executive advisor of, excuse me, of SHARE, S-H-A-R-E. The SHARE mission statement is simple. It's to build a better world. Nice. Absolutely. The SHARE organization was founded in 1994 by business executives dedicated to providing affordable housing for individuals in need. And during 
its nearly 20 years history. The organization has served hundreds of families, seniors, veterans, people with physical challenges or terminal illnesses. And today, the SHARE organization is actively involved in raising funds for various social causes, including housing assistance, as well as neighborhood support service programs. And Mr. Stock is dedicated his professional career and has had a lifetime of commitment to helping other people in need. So help me welcome Mr. Arnold Stock. Thank you very much. Nice. How are you? Well, welcome. Oh, great. How are you? Thanks Thank you for, for coming in studio after the holidays. Thanks for having me. I appreciate yes. it. Yes, uh, we're honored. Thank yeah, you. so Thank you, you are, are the founder of SHARE. I am. Excellent. Yes. And so tell us a little bit more about the organization. Well, SHARE actually goes back to 1977 when I was a, uh, a uh, intern with VISTA, which is the Domestic Peace Corps. It's now AmeriCorps. And um, SHARE is, uh, has evol- evolved over the years. Uh, I didn't even know what a nonprofit was when I started uh, straight out architectural school. Uh, but fast forward, SHARE was founded in 1994, and I uh, was working as housing director for the city of Las Vegas mm. and uh, under, the dire- under the administration of Mayor Jan Jones. And uh, SHARE was started just to really help other nonprofits raise funds, organize, get started, uh, provide technical assistance, and those things to uh, because when I when I came here, nonprofits were very very uh, undeveloped, especially when mm-hmm. it came to housing and building structures. Right. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, what are some of the different projects that you've helped out on and worked on? And uh, I've been very fortunate to have been on a lot of uh, of uh, social service boards here, like the United Way and uh, uh, the Shade Tree. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, They're great. Goodwill. We had them on. Yeah, Goodwill, Goodwill of Southern Nevada. Um, the American Red Cross, Habitat for Humanity. Uh, I was co-founder wow. of Christmas in April, which is now rebuilding together. And uh, not that I'm reciting my resume, but my main uh, thing, point when I talk is to encourage other people to do the same thing mm-hmm. if, if they're interested in helping our community. Right. Nice. So, to get involved, to yeah. do it. To just do it. Yeah. Dive in, do it, get involved. Right. Take action. Is take action and, <laughs> yeah. and rely upon a lot of volunteers to help you along the way. Right. Absolutely. And is it a one-man show over there? Is it you? It Rock? is not. Um, uh, my wife, Shannon Kelly, um, uh, is vice president, um, and uh, we run. That's it. You know, we have yeah. another board member. Um, and uh, SHARE is a very lean-run organization that nice. instigates a lot of work. And mm-hmm. uh, like this last year, we had over 3,000 uh, volunteers oh, at, wow. our, at our extreme makeovers of facilities. Very cool. It was a great year. That's, yeah, no, yeah. it's a yeah. great year. And you guys Sounds have a lot powerful. planned for 2014? We do. We have West Care Women and Children's Campus we're working on. Uh, we're working on some special needs transitional housing for f- uh, U.S. female veterans with children. And uh, also, we're also working on a Variety Early Learning Center uh, at the Lorenzi wow. Park. Um, there's, a, there's a long list. Uh, 100 Academy of Excellence, which is a charter school in mm-hmm. uh, North Las Vegas. Wow. And uh, Veterans Village. Uh, so, What do you do at Veteran Vil- Veterans Village? <laughs> uh, I'm founder of Veterans Village, and it's a repurposed 122-room motel that was ready to close a year and a half ago on the Strip. Uh, it's a former Econo Lodge, uh-huh. and we converted it to um, housing for United States veterans, transitional housing. Nice. That's and so awesome. we, uh, we partner with about 20 agencies and businesses uh, to provide uh, decent housing and, and uh, for our veterans uh, that are reentering into society. Very nice. Yeah. That's really yeah. cool. It's so I mean, needed. That's right about Allie, and yeah. this is what... You know, we talk about all the time, and we want to help make change with. It's yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's so simple, um, but it takes a lot of work, and it <laughs> takes a lot of passion. But it is, yeah. a, the structures, as the, the more simple they are and the less bureaucracy, right. the better off the people that need the services are. Right. And you know what I really enjoy about hearing all these stories? How many people that there, you know, you got 3,000 volunteers, but how many people really want to help? A lot of people do want to help, but they don't know how to t- start taking action, to just exactly. do it. They sit back and they get in so into their head that they never actually make yeah. any effort to do this. And you just jump in. We jump in, and one of, one of the biggest things that's happened in my career um, is Facebook. Yes. Without question. Social media. 
without question. Um, and so we, we jump in, but we have the experience and the background to orchestrate these. Nothing's worse than a volunteer event when, and a lot of people have done this, you show up to the event, there's nothing to do. Right. It's underutilized. Right. They're standing around. Somebody comes out to our developments and, and because we have such great partners, like uh, one of our projects was Freedom House Sober Living. Uh, we partnered with uh, the Crossing Church and we had 800 volunteers, you know, show up to Freedom House, and in about four hours, it was completely transformed. Just like wow. you see on TV, but I don't have the budgets that uh, they have with, you know, <laughs> six Sears uh, semis pulling up behind you. Right. right. Everything's donated. No, that that's great. We actually had um, on Tuesday's show, Suzanne Mercado, who flew in from Orlando, mm -hmm. um, about um, consciousness and about social media, how important it is to get awareness out there now. Because everything's got these great ideas and everything you're doing, but unless people are aware of what you're doing, you know, yeah. nothing gets done. Exactly. And it's so important. And these tools are out there now, but it's really learning how to use it. It's, it's you know. They are. So are you really good at social media? Do you have a social media team? No, I'm horrible at it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. I like right before I went on, I'm forcing myself. Right before I went on this interview, I put I'm going live on your show. Yeah, I saw it. And so, um, you know, uh, I have a there's a lot of really good supportive friends. A new okay. media Vegas, uh, 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 they work Huff with and us, Dwayne yeah. Faulkner. They're great. You know, they're they're great, and they they push me to to get on it. They go, you know what the traffic is? I go, I don't know what I don't know what you're talking you're right. about. <laughs> I got a lot of projects, so there's a lot of Dwayne and Genies out there. Let me rephrase that. There's a few Dwayne and Genies out there that really are there. You know, when the chips are down, when you when you need it done, when, the, you, right. know, when right. you need the volunteers. And so we get we have everybody supporting us from MGM resorts to uh, Larry Flint's Hustler Club employees. Nice. And so it's all across the board. Mm -hmm. um, right. And so. So what are you looking for now? What could people do to help? Uh, really basic things are, are very helpful. Uh, one thing I don't ask for is cash. I don't ask for money. Uh, when okay. we first talk to people or we first come into the, the world of like this, this program, right. we need bottled water. We need coffee. We need creamer. Mm -hmm. We need basic non-perishable food items. Right. We've, we have to feed a, at least 122 people a day. We don't have a meals program, but it's all independent cooking. Wow. And, and so we have a partnership with Trader Joe's and with a whole foods market and with, we're a three square provider. Uh, we're right on right. the strip. And we're twenty four seven our lobby, so we need that basic kind of food. We have a we have oh, a wow. coffee pot always going, and we go through a lot of stuff. Right, and is that just for the veterans or for that one's just, just for veterans, veterans? But I have a, there's a lot of different causes and things that we have. You know, for West Care Women and Children's Campus, we're raising money for that. Right. So, but that's focused raise. I don't I don't uh, go out and say you know write me a check for this or that. I never ever say that. Right. But there's a if someone goes to our uh, to Veterans Village website, they can see what we need, or they can contact me directly on Facebook. Whatever they're interested in, if they're interested in children's charities, seniors, uh, uh, adult daycare, um, people with dementia, and Alzheimer's, you know, all the struggles that that are are in our society, mm -hmm. I can connect people to. Right. And so I'm a connector. Yeah, that's I like that. that's yeah. pretty much what I do. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm really big about that. Um, what we talk about, your network is more important than your net worth. I really believe that. It, it is. And, um, you know, we, we start most projects with a $0 base, like Variety Early Earning Center. We started with zero. I started helping them. We went into the community. It's, it's one of the oldest uh, child care centers, uh, preschools in, uh, in Las Vegas. It's in very poor area. And so we applied to the city. We got the old Nevada State Museum building for 50 years for a dollar a year. And nice. we're just about to get a grant, uh, hopefully, from the city to build the whole place out. And nice. so, um, you know, that'll help a lot of people who struggle with, ch with child care. Yeah, uh, it's just absolutely. it's real simple, basic, fundamental living room issues. Mm -hmm. right. what, what, what are the struggles that people have? Child care, homelessness, jobs. We, we, have, we, we connect a lot of jobs. People do a lot of jobs. Right, so right. You know, it just all depends what the interest is. Nice. No, that's, a, that's yeah. great. Are you originally from Las Vegas? Um, originally, it was born and raised in Los Angeles, California, and uh, grew up in uh, Culver City. I know Culver and City very well. very interested in architecture uh, because I was, we lived right next to MGM Studios, and I thought that the movie sets were reality. Right. And all the streets of the different <laughs> cities, and I started sketching them and drawing them, and then I got interested in architecture and then later into urban planning. 
Nice. And then what brought you out here? <laughs> uh, Mayor Jones uh, oh. called me and asked me to come out here and said that she'd, she had seen, because we had done, in those days, in the 80s, we had done the first homeless family shelter. There wasn't a family shelter in L.A. County. We did the first AIDS hospice. We did an alcohol and drug rehab facility. And we did a... Uh, um, the pediatric AIDS clinic over at County USC Medical Center. And she called and said, you know, we don't have any of that here. Will you come up and visit? And so that turned into a whole, uh, the city and uh, county, in one right. of their rare moments moments of harmony, retained my, my firm, and we uh, did a study uh, and a plan of action. Because right. I'm not into studies. Wow. Right. Make it happen. Right. You so, you, so you've been in the nonprofit world for a very long time. and. Yes. How did that come about? Was that something you've always wanted to do, or? Well, I'm a hybrid of uh, for-profit, nonprofit. I have my my make a living side of my life, where I'm mm-hmm. a development consultant, and then my um, my community life, which is the nonprofit world. And um, I was influenced very heavily when I went into the domestic peace corps. And from a kid that grew up in a middle class neighborhood, my uh, first project was a methadone clinic for heroin addicts. Mm-hmm. on Los Angeles' Skid Row at Volunteers of America facility. Wow. And I worked under the direction of architects. I didn't know what I was doing, uh, but I just listened a lot. And since then, it's been one one community project or public, I call them public benefit projects after another, for 40 years. Wow. Um, wow. And we've been everywhere from Haiti to China mm-hmm. to um, um, almost every state in the South redoing old HUD projects. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so it's been a it's been a blessing of a career, um, and but um, I'm definitely in the in the world of planning and development and architecture, a fish out of the water. <laughs> right, right. And your wife, what about her? Um, very supportive. Um, you know, she's um, um, always there for me and helps me with our nonprofit and all of our of all our efforts. Keeps me in line. Right. Uh, <laughs> Make sure I have a private life. And, uh, <laughs> nice. And so uh, that. Uh, and uh, she's, uh, like I said, she's the vice president of our board. And our board has three members on purpose because I've been through boards. The first one I was on was Jewish Families, uh, Jewish Federation Council in L.A., and there was like over 100 people on the board. Oh, my God. And so yeah. just, you know. How do you make was, decisions? You don't. You don't. Yeah, yeah nothing you know, gets done. <laughs> they're fighting and arguing, you know. Right. In that case, it looked like the, the video feeds from the Knesset in Israel. They're right. sitting there <laughs> screaming and yelling at each other. So I learned early on that I wanted to, to make a difference by, um, by giving back in the, what I know how to do. Right. I'm not an expert in, in, in a lot of areas, but I have an expertise in what I do. And so right. um, a lot of my uh, clients or the organizations that come to me have very little or no budget and don't have uh, a clue as to how to improve their facilities or their organization or their board. Right. So, Right. Wow. Yeah, no, I can see that when you have, people fill up their board, yeah. they first they think it's friends, then people want to make decisions, and then people are vetoing and fighting. You you have to assemble a good board, a board that you believe in and that believes in you and sees your, your vision project. as well. Correct. Because yeah. um, some people come in with their own agendas, and then there you go. Right. You don't, you don't move. Right. Well, we have a very large advisory board. Yeah, yeah. that's where the... Those, people <laughs> I, those are the people I reach out to that I know are there that I can call on. Right. Um, and so we call on them on for their expertise and the phone calls they can make and the help we, we, we can get, and they they make it. They are really share. They make the, the organization uh, right. hum and uh, and get more fine-tuned as, as we go. Um, and so, um, you know, I do everything from really, really grassroots uh, efforts. Like we got uh, – I helped Central Christian Church, a very large church here. They have a program called God Behind Bars. And they came to me and asked me to help them get a single-family residence in a neighborhood zoned for uh, female released offenders on parole. Oh wow! Right. And we did that. And it was and it's those kind of grass door to door, sit in the living room, talk to people right. like they with respect, and talk the issues through. And we got it passed. And so we, I do everything from door to door things to I uh, posted on my Facebook the other day. I want to meet with President Obama, and I'm going to this year. Awesome. I and believe you will. I want to, yeah. because it's time to stop the homelessness for our veterans. Yeah. There's no reason for it. There's no excuse for it. And it just sets tripping all over ourselves. Yeah. And so I posted that twice now. And, uh, and, and then I got a reaction from somebody who's connected to somebody else that knows somebody in, in the White House, the press corps. And that's what we're doing. So I'm shouting that out everywhere I go. 
that's my that's my biggest goal this year. No, I, I do. Awesome. I believe it'll actually happen. Yeah, so, and it needs somebody like you who will continue to go for that in oh, order to pest. get that done. I'm a real so. pest. I've talked <laughs> to the switchboard. You know, they're starting to get to know my voice, and I'm sure they've. Secret and NSA, is not NSA the vetted right. or whatever. I don't know. What yeah, it is. right. <laughs> Who knows? Exactly. When the that's guys, the way things are done. Yeah, you, you can't. You got to be persistent. You got to fight and follow through. Exactly. Don't so give we're up. After, we're after bottled water and meetings with the commander in chief. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Well, we um we do have to take a quick break. Yes, so thank before you. we take our break, though, if you could just give us the website of where people can go to see more about what you guys are doing and. If they have anything to donate or share, share with share. Share with us. Share with share. <laughs> Absolutely. It's sharelasvegas.org. S-H-A-R-E and then lasvegas.org. Excellent. And they can reach me uh, uh, through there or uh, they can call me. So Very good. So you're listening to the Create It Now radio show. When we come back, we'll continue our conversation with Arnold Stock of Share the Organization. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook or find us on Twitter at Dream It, Create It. And we'll be right back. Ben Bella Books is a publishing boutique that aims to be the publisher of choice for a select group of authors. Authors who value personal attention, a partnership philosophy, flexibility, and a creative approach to marketing. Ben Bella Books is a fast-growing, market-focused publishing house whose success is based on a few simple principles. They select their titles with care. They provide their authors with first-class service and partnership. And they provide aggressive, creative marketing for each title they publish. Find out more at BenBellaBooks.com B-E-N BellaBooks.com And if you're a reader, check out the many great titles available at BenBellaBooks.com It's an idea whose time has come. Full Circle Couture is the fashionable way to exchange and recycle clothing. Full Circle Couture sells all kinds of new and gently used clothing and accessories. They accept donations and exchanges for in-store credit. And Full Circle Couture donates the items they can't use to local charities. We support teachers through discounts and donations. Come to donate, stay to shop. Full Circle Couture at 9440 West Sahara Suite 170, just west of Fort Apache. Find out more at FCCFullCircleCouture.com. That's FCCFullCircleCouture, C-O-U-T-U-R-E.com. You're listening to the Create It Now Radio Network. This is Larry Benet, the connector. Invest in your network, and the network will invest back into helping you. The more connection currency you create, the faster you get whatever you want in business and life. You're listening to the Create It Now Radio Network. Those who can do this is Create It Now. Join the conversation at 702-731-1230 or email create at createitnowmedia.com. Here again, your host, Jonathan Stowe and Don Elizabeth. Hello and welcome back to the Create It Now radio show. If you're just tuning in with us, we're speaking with Arnold Stock of SHARE, S-H-A-R-E, a local nonprofit organization who helps other organizations as well as pretty much anyone in the community that is in need of help. They've helped hundreds of families, seniors, veterans, children, people with physical challenges or terminal illnesses, and it's just an amazing organization. So thank you again for coming on oh, and being with us. Thank you for having me. It's very really nice appreciate to it. Thank you. So with the name SHARE, is that an acronym for anything? It, the legal name mm-hmm. is Supportive Housing and Resources for the Elderly, which is the way we started out. Um, mm-hmm. We started out thinking about uh, doing uh, uh, elderly housing. Right. And as, the ti- as time went on um, and the more needs that nonprofits had, I fanned out immediately. And uh, I went on... Uh, when I was my first started share, I was on the board of the Shade Tree, mm-hmm. uh, one oh, of the nice. original advisory board members, and then I was there through the building of, of our new facility. Nice. I always call ours because I feel very, very emotionally tied to these organizations over yeah. the years. We yeah. had them on, and they were great. I mean, no, just, they're great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. amazing. What they're they great, but you know, there's not a family shelter that takes. There's not a homeless family shelter in Clark County. Oh wow! There's shelters that take pieces and parts of families. Right. right. But there's not, and that's one of my, that's another one of my main things before 
when right. we go out is, uh, is a <laughs> right. homeless shelter here. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, a homeless family shelter. Homeless family shelter. Right. Mom, dad, male, female. Like no you know, matter. It doesn't right. matter what the what the family composition right. is. We don't have one here. Yeah. Right. That's interesting that nobody's ever started right. one out here. Is there because of legislation, laws, rules, or just nobody has touched on it yet? Touched on it yet? Uh, I'm not sure why, but it isn't here. Well, we're gonna have to create it. Yeah, Let's well, fix that. <laughs> that's that's a, that's one of my goals is nice. to do that. And then nice. as well, we we're here to help. So. And as we discussed before, one of my major goals is for share to significantly have impact on the and profoundly have impact on the homelessness of our United States veterans and our service people. Yeah. And when we start clearing out of Afghanistan, uh, we're really going to feel it here. No, absolutely. We oh, completely uh, yeah. agree with that. We just came back from Orlando. Um, you probably know her, Sherry Watson. She started the American Disability Act. Yes. Um, she was in a coma and stuff, and mm-hmm. we spent right. three days with her. Really? And some heads of major TV studios, because we're talking about advisory board, because we're working on something, putting something together, and um, just told people we wanted to help with veterans and stuff. And so many friends and different people just said, okay, we're flying in. And Sherry was there for three days, and wow. we just sat and came up with ideas and what to do and what's needed. And, and that the was the biggest support. thing was that it's going to be like basically a slap in the face if things aren't yeah. starting now to get things ready for when people, the veterans start coming back. That, yeah. yeah, right. And that's, you know? and that's what I, that's where we're ready with our model. Our model is right. open. Right. And yeah. so, you know, we just put it out there. If you want to, if you want to solve one part of the problem, just mm-hmm. take this and de- replicate it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not looking for work. I'll replicate it for him. <laughs> you know, exactly. I'll be on a plane in you know overnight. Yeah. Yeah. But but we have to have that. Take it from the concept to, you know, the star, the star phase. Right. And and the hype phase and get get in there and build it. Right. Yeah. You know, we we got to roll up your sleeves and get dirty. Yeah. Basically. I mean, this country created the largest industrial revolution and powerhouse in the history of humanity. Yeah. So surely to God, we can build housing for our veterans here. No, I, I think, agreed. too, with the building of the housing, I think that's one place that people are really scared to get into exactly. on their own. It's such a large undertaking. And, I mean, I've been in real estate as an investor, mm-hmm. and it is scary at first because it's so much to know, and it's out of the realm for most people. So it's hard for people to do that. And I love that you guys are helping other organizations as well figure that out. We are. I push them. They say, well, you know, we and people start getting uncomfortable in the room when you're talking about housing. Well, we don't want to. We can't do that. We can't. All the can'ts in the world. I say, well, look at all these examples around you. Here's how they did it. This is how we do these things. Right. And so, I mean, uh, in 2007, we took an ocean container and turned it into a house called Instant Build House. Oh, cool. We ended up building the prototype in Port-au-Prince after uh, you know that the incident that happened there. Um, So one of the things you just said about can't. If you say you can't or you say you can, either one is true. Either one's true, and you just take the apostrophe and the T off a can, yeah. and you're there. And all these things sound Disney-like, which is my idol in life. I'm just sorry have you I never seen the met movie? Walt Disney. I have not. Mr. Bank, me. I have Mr. not. I want to. I want to go see yeah. that. Um, but you know, you can do those things. You can and, do anything. And the thing, the thing that keep that keeps people back the most is that they don't believe that they can make a difference. They think, oh, I can't make that difference. Wow. So. Right. That's basically why we created the show. It's, it's called Created show. Now. Taking yeah. people from yeah. a dream state to a created state. You know, no more excuses. <laughs> Get out of your head. Every obstacle you hit, you're closer to your goal. Just keep going. Keep pushing. Get it done. Exactly. You know, I I know you had Melly Polito on here. Mm -hmm. uh, Yeah, she's a great project. Project Yeah, they're one of our, she's one of my really close collaborating partners and friends. Right. And so, you know, we, we, just moving food is extremely important. There's, there's a lot of kids that go to bed hungry in our valley every night. Inconceivable with the morass of, of food that moves through this valley every day. Yeah. I have the one, can I talk just quickly about the one bagel theory? Yes. Okay, so I started taking um, um, bagels, leftover bagels, about fifteen, about ten years ago, out of Einstein's. They were throwing away about about a hundred a day. Yeah. So, and I was doing that, set, you know, five days a week. So that's five hundred a week, and do the math. Right. Yeah. That's two thousand a month. That's mm-hmm. forty-eight thousand bagels a year, just by taking the bag, putting it in my in my uh, Forerunner, and driving it down to St. Vinny's. 
their gates open 24 hours, and they were eating bagels like crazy. Yeah, and they're just the bagels from the day that right. are left oh, over. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's a one bagel theory. And if you take that and you put that to work on other on other things, the math, do the, the math on model, that, yeah. it just blossoms. And so uh, we can't wait for our government to bail us out anymore. The no. days right. of the government grants are completely gone, in my opinion. There's agencies in this town that run 95% federal assistance, which is the reason a lot of them are closed on Friday. Yeah. Right. They're closed right. down on Friday right. because they can't they, can they can't get the the government funding. You know, uh, if they ask me, I'd say, you know, let's take your your business model and completely take it apart and start looking to the community to help. Right. Well, one of the things that we've really learned is you also have to run your not for profit as a business. Oh, exactly. You know, most people don't do Very that. Very much so. You know, and that's why there, it's not just a bake sale. It's about creating change. Exactly. And finding out how to get money, how to go out there and do it. And get the housing and build it and get those pieces that you need. We opened a thrift store, you know, because, I, you know, we don't run on government grants. So we opened right. a thrift store in Jones and Charleston. It's right up, right up the street here, Veterans Village Thrift Store, right on mm-hmm. the corner. And so, you know, we do things that are, are it goes completely against the, the, the rule book. But you have um, to think out of the box. We have to because otherwise it will still be a theory down at the beat downtown just sitting over a cup of coffee. Well, we're going to do that. Oh, that yeah. sounds great. You know, let's go back to our life. But Yeah. And then in 10 years you would be saying the same thing. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. It's not. And what I really like about what you're doing, so many people wait for things to be perfect, and we talk about this all the time. What Their definition of perfect and our definition of perfect is completely different. So everybody's like, we can't get this started until this is done and this is done. Just go out and start it. Everything will happen. Because so many people sit there and wait, uh, is it right yet? Is this the right time to do it? Can I make change? Right. Am I going to fail? It's like, just go, start. That's what we do with the radio show. This whole show yeah. is just like, let's do a radio show and make a change and doing something positive. Let's get people it out like, there. Yeah. Uh, how are you going to do that? I don't know. Just right. get on the well, air. We'll about, talk about it. We'll figure it out. Program. Right. Yeah. No, exactly. Just figure it out as you go. Believe me, there's a lot of times I wake up in the morning because my mind's been at the foot of the bed thinking all right. night, and it's think, and I go, "Oh my god, yeah. you know what? Am, what am I doing?" But the minute I get going and I get up and see results, do my little spiritual thing, I'm ready to right. go. Yeah. You know, so, and it's always the people in need that that drive me. All right. Your phone must be going crazy all the time. It goes a lot. Need, yeah. It goes a lot. So how do you shut down? Um. That's where my wife comes in. <laughs> she makes you shut down. She makes me shut down, and we have uh, our 11-year-old little boy and um, my other kids. And, right. you know, we just, uh, yeah, I, I have to at a certain point. But it's very, very difficult, yeah. especially when you've been doing it as, as long as I have because you realize your um, that the, the time factor weighs on me. And mm-hmm. so I'm very antsy, but it's always that antsiness. The school I was educated in, uh, the architectural school, taught us to be always on the cutting edge and always be uh, in front of the in front of the curve, right. because if you're not, you fall into line. Mm-hmm. Right. And so it's not for everybody. This lifestyle, believe me, is not for everybody. Yeah. But if somebody really wants to do some, you know, get up and do it. Make change. Just you know, get up and do it. Well, and also too, like the whole unwinding or stop uh, cutting yourself off like the in this world the people that you're helping it's 24 hours for them you know it's very good point so you could be in need someone might be in need at 11 o'clock at night where most people who are nine to five like okay you know what call me tomorrow right and jeopardy's on I'm yeah. you know i'm doing this I'm right doing that i dvr'd i need for to so do many this. in crisis there's that's a very good point yeah. there's no right. there's no time frame but you have to recharge I mean, people I do. have to recharge and think, and that's the only way you can be creative to come up with these things out of the box, too. Because if you're going and going and going, I'm sure there's been times when you're just wiped out and you can't think anymore. There is. So you've <laughs> got to take the time to sit there back is. and go. Did you relax through uh, the holidays at all? I did. I peppered it with work, but I did yeah. definitely relax. And, well, that's um, good. And uh, it's, uh, that's something that just has to be done. Yeah. Uh, I learned that the hard way a while ago, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah. But uh, in, in order to really uh, push my agenda forward, uh, I have to stay um, really, really up for it. And yeah. um, and I, I keep really, by other people's standards, insane hours. Uh, but I do uh, I do have structure to that. Right. There's plenty of time in oh, 24 yeah. hours. People think that they can't, you know, and I'm certainly not Albert Einstein, but he got two hours a night of sleep. Yeah. And so, 
you know, there's plenty of hours in 24 to divide it up, to have family time, to have quality time, mm-hmm. be with your loved ones. You just have to still, prioritize it, right? And stay at it, yeah. yeah. But this exactly. doesn't sound like work to you. It sounds like something that you love. Oh, I love it. Um, passion. We had Wyland it. on. Do you know the artist? Yes. He does, so Wyland's a dear friend of ours. And um, wow. he said, do something that you love. And it's okay to get paid for it and make change and make a difference. He's like, I get to paint. You know, it's like find things that you love. So if people have a passion or they want to help, you know, go for that. You know, go for that passion. The Make the change. If children are important to you, veterans are important to you, whatever's important to you, really, you know, put the effort, turn it into something that makes you happy exactly. doing. Mm-hmm. And then the exactly. time just flies. It doesn't feel like work at all. I was yeah. just talking to our, we have, we have an artist studio upstairs, a bunch of artists at our thrift store. And we inherited oh. them. That was there at the store, when the store was a thrift store before. So they're trying to figure out how do we get, no, how do you know? I said, listen. Come downtown, do an art exhibit in our lobby on first Friday. Start mm-hmm. getting your names out there. Get it out into the media. We'll call the media the first one. I'm sure they'll come in. The media's been fantastic to us. Artists for Veterans Village. Nice. And they're like, they were so excited by the time I left. All I did was pass on an idea and let them run with it. Yeah. You know what we should do? I'm going on a limb here, but we should broadcast live from your facility sometime. That'd be wonderful. You Sounds know, good. on a first Come on Friday down. or something yeah. like that. Because come on down. we have the technology to broadcast live and then invite people down to come see what you're doing. I That'd am looking cool. for that would be wonderful. Thank you. I'm looking for what for lack of a better term, I call our organization's Jimmy Carter. Um uh, we're looking for somebody that's that's prominent in Las Vegas, uh, preferably in show business, but doesn't have to be, that's very, very well known that will become an ambassador for our veterans' cause. But Lawrence over here, you know, he, he's our engineer. He's silent Lawrence man. Is like, what? <laughs> Say the word right so I can have a drink again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, and we'll find them. It, yeah. It's oh, happened yeah. before in my other nonprofits. Well, we'll, so, we'll start throwing the word out. I mean, we know great. a lot of people. Please. You know, yeah. and, that'd be great. Uh, I think it would be great to actually broadcast live. Yeah, we'll interview some people, wonderful. You know, and let them, give them a voice. You know, yeah. The biggest thing with us doing the show is we want to humanize what what you're doing so people aren't that scared of doing it. Because I think that's what it is. They set this fear up. Oh, my God, how am I going to be able to make change? And then you come in here and you're like, just do it. Go out there. And start you're doing, slow. Start, start, start little. Do little mm-hmm. things. Little baby steps. Yeah, exactly. You but know, every journey takes the first step. You have to take that first step. People call me, what can I do? Bring bring down a case of water. A case of water is five bucks. Yeah. Okay. And sure enough, or I put it on Facebook, you see the cars pulling up. Nice. You know, they're bringing two, three cases. You know, yeah. it's a no-brainer, you know, and they're bringing their kids with them. The kids are saying, wow, this is what service is about. Right. That was easy. Right. Well, it's about you know? creating awareness, and that's what we were yeah, talking about, exactly. and knowledge. And that would be, it would be a lot of fun yeah. to go I'd down there. Yeah, we'll have to start that. Yeah. We'll do a drive. Anytime. Excellent. Yeah, we'll Let's do a do drive it. down there, and um, we'll have a contest. We'll get one of the shows to give us tickets to who could, you know, and we'll get them involved. Cool. Yeah, maybe the guys from Raiding the Rock Vault. I know we can get them. I don't know if you've seen that show. I, I have not, but I heard it's oh, excellent. It's, I mean, yeah, it's amazing. I know we, have, we know the guys and stuff like that. We can get some of them maybe down there. Yeah. And we could have just a lot of fun. And I'd give, love to do and that. And we'll give away tickets to – they don't even know this yet. <laughs> and I'm giving yeah, right. away their tickets. I'm getting these know. phone calls. But <laughs> you know what, though? They're good people, and they would be yeah. more than honored to give the tickets. Yeah, we'd, we'd love to do that. You know, we had our makeover, and this this is just – I'd, I'd love – that would be a wonderful thing. Thank you. Um we had, we know there are 800 people crawling over 200 units of apartments or whatever. And these two guys are just working it, working and working. And I said, what do you guys do at the end of the day? And they, they were there for a good six hours. And he was just getting dressed. He says, um, we're, two of the, we're two of the cats of the blue men. Oh, nice. That was See you later. Yeah. yeah. You know, no big deal. They're all right. you know, just and so in this it. community is a wonderful place. It sounds corny, but I see it. See, I get to, oh. I, I'm spoiled. I get to see the wonderful part of this, of our community. Right. Mm-hmm. It's a great place. Absolutely. Well, we go to a lot of events. We get invited to yeah, a lot right, of charities right. and a lot of things like that. So we are seeing, um, but the group of entertainers um, and the people that want to do the show as well. So we definitely want to help you with different you know, you. events. And when you have new openings and what, you know, broadcast live or bring in people. Thank um, you. 
we've got some really big names coming in town. And maybe with the art thing, when Wyland's here, he comes out once a year oh, to well, do that, yeah. um, his art studio. Oh, he does. Paint. Yeah, so yeah. he comes out and then he paints live for people. And he's just one of the nicest people. And That's so I, good to hear. Yeah, I Especially, you know. I don't see a problem in them. See, I'm promising again. I know. Well, I also we need any, to rein you anything in. Anything you can do is, is fantastic. <laughs> but I know me. Wyland would do. Well, yeah. we also have to deal this with the mayor, too. So there's a challenge with Wyland um, Water Conservation. And who, Toyota is part of this. And so I threw out that Las Vegas would be part of this challenge, but it's called the Mayor's Challenge, and we haven't talked to the Mayor yet. So I even put the Mayor up to this challenge against Wyland and other people, but we haven't even spoke to the Mayor yet. Well, so when the you're Mayor's talking, listening. When you're talking about Mayor Goodman, she is one of our, if not our best supporters at Veterans Village. Well, we she need comes to get hold of her because of everything I, that oh, we nice. do. Because I put her out there with Wyland. I know. He, she's already she in no the middle idea. of a challenge. She's actually she in the middle of a challenge. She, she, she has doesn't no know idea. Yet. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure she'd love it. She's she's just amazing. And I'm not kidding. She. She's been great, and her yeah. and, and uh, the two mayors have their name on one of our rooms uh, dedicated, and so um, she, without her, we would not have opened. And so, uh, well, so maybe... she'll know it when you mention Veterans Village. <laughs> okay, well, if you Excellent. can get us in touch with her, and then we I can work a deal, because the winning city gets a Prius from Toyota, and then maybe they could donate it oh, to that you would be guys, wonderful. too, because we are going to take what you down Wyland. It? It's a conservation for water. And um, who saves the most amount of water, the most Which amount city? of awareness? But the mayors have got to get involved, and so it's a it's a challenge. And mm -hmm. Vegas is very big on water conservation. I will make sure that that message gets there, well, and we can put you. in touch with Absolutely. Wyland. We're, I mean, Wyland, we've got this challenge out there. Absolutely. Okay. And so let me ask you one more question because we are Please. running out of time. Wow. And um, what is it? What's the legacy that you want to leave behind here? At, with everything that you're doing? I've never been asked that question. Um, uh, my legacy is that um, I have, my dream is to have like a warehouse full of interns from universities across the United States, just a big think tank and mm -hmm. production facility that's creative, that's, um, that takes nonprofit facilities to another level to a high level of standard and please come out and visit us because you'll Absolutely. see what, what what we try to accomplish yeah and uh, w when somebody comes to work for us especially housekeepers i make them sit through the walt disney story <laughs> and and i say you know this is what we strive to be we strive to be creative and we strive to be innovative and respectful and so that's my that would be my legacy Wow. And to maybe go speak at some other schools because I taught architecture for a long time mm -hmm. and nice. motivate some students. Maybe there's a spark somewhere that uh, that will uh, be energized uh, to a social worker, to an architecture student, to a physician, mm -hmm. you know, to a psychologist, to a builder. Um, and so um, that's that's my that's my wish and my for my legacy. That's Wonderful. Beautiful. That's great. Yeah, I like and we're that. really big into mastermind groups and stuff like that. So think tanks. Um, a lot of times. A lot of people come out here and be invited to those, and that's actually where we met Sherry Watson at a mastermind. Wow! And Great. then she came on the show, and it was just so powerful. But if you ever need help with that, get a bunch of people you want to create change and come up with ideas. Thank you. Um, Dawn speaks all, all over the place. I work with some of the biggest speakers and authors in the world, and we'll get people involved. Well, it's been a great time. Change. Yeah. Thank you so very yeah, much. Yeah, so for thank you for me. coming out thank and you. being with yeah. us here in oh. studio today. The time went by so fast. It, it did. did. It yeah. Flew. It did. <laughs> um, tell us again how people can get a hold of you or your website and share so that they can get involved. Uh, anybody's welcome to call me directly, and I do return every phone call at 702-624-5792, 702-624-5792, or they can put, pull up sharelasvegas.org or arnoldstalk.com, S-T-A-L-K, Arnold, S-T-A-L-K.com. Excellent. Nice. Well, yeah, thank you again for coming out and sharing Share with me. us. Thank you and so much. I love that you're so involved with everything, getting people into that realm that they're scared of, because I think me right. personally, I think that real estate and building is a key for pretty much any type of organization it in is. order to grow and yeah. and give more back. And this so, is the direction we're going to be yeah. more active and creating change in communities and, as you said, like big nice and all that stuff, but like kibbutzes. That's what big, I want right, to do. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I um, right. 
we've been talking about. Oh, got to wrap up. I keep we, getting the I Well, we do have to take there. our last break and let our sponsor speak. So you're listening to the Create It Now radio show. Don't forget to check us out at www.createitnowmedia.com and find us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll be right back. Blown it out at Gene Woods Racing Experience, Las Vegas' newest premier outdoor adrenaline-powered gasoline go-karting track with speeds in excess of 45 miles per hour if you've got the balls. We've got two-for-one Tuesdays. Buy one and your friend rides free. We've got $5 off coupons. And remember, on your birthday, members ride free. And they get a free Gene Woods Racing Experience t-shirt. Open Monday through Friday. 4 p.m. till 11, Saturday and Sunday, noon till 11. And we're located at 121 East Sunset Road in Las Vegas Boulevard at the Sports Center across from McCarran Airport. Come blow the doors off your competition at Gene Woods Racing Experience. Once you race here, you won't go anywhere else. Be there. Be there. Be there. Be there. Be there. The best television isn't on television. It's on the internet. Log on to realwisdomtv.com for thousands of hours of motivational and inspiring content. On demand all the time. Unlike network television with its sex, drugs, and rock and roll, realwisdomtv.com provides wellness, wealth, and wisdom. From how to read faster to creating greater wealth, realwisdomtv.com is for you. The learning never stops, and neither does realwisdomtv.com. Log on now to realwisdomtv.com. Dot com. My name is Brandon Shia, and you're listening to Create It Now. Welcome back to Create It Now. Join the conversation at 702-731-1230 or email create at createitnowmedia.com. Here again, your hosts, Jonathan Stone and Don Elizabeth. Hello and welcome back to the Create It Now radio show. If you're just tuning in with us, you missed a great conversation with Arnold Stock of the SHARE organization. That's S-H-A-R-E, which is a nonprofit organization here in Las Vegas. He's going to give us a quick rundown of what it is one more time. But if you did miss the conversation today, don't forget we rebroadcast tonight at 11 p.m. on VegasAllNetRadio.com. And you can find the archived version at www.createitnowmedia.com. So, Arnold, why don't you just give us one more time how people can get a hold of you guys and the share mission statement so that we know what we can come to you for. Thank you very much, and thanks again for having me. I very much appreciate it. Uh, On behalf of uh, people who struggle and uh, uh, especially children and our veterans. Uh, anybody can call me at any time at 702-624-5792 or look us up, uh, visit us at uh, www.sharelasvegas.org or arnoldstalk.com. And SHARE is a public benefit nonprofit organization that just helps uh, organizations and communities build facilities, raise money, and to hopefully create a little bit of a better life for our kids and our veterans. Awesome. Yeah, Thank you great. so much for being with us. I know. I'm truly inspired for my new year. Very cool. That yeah, great way today. to start our new year. Thank Come you. Come on out. We'll give you a paintbrush on our on our, our first makeover day is January 12th. So oh, nice. nice. Yeah, you guys sure jumped you right in. It. Excellent. Yep. Like well, I those said, of you, also too, those of you who are listening, if you, for our new year, if you know of any other organizations in town that do need to get some help, whether it's through different local places or they need that that visualization that we can help out with send us an email at create at create dot com or send us a message on facebook and let us know about it so that we can start getting that awareness out for people and connecting them with who they need in order to make change here create change yeah, yeah 2014 is going to be the year of the change i love it so we want to be there to help everybody out no, I'm excited. No, really, I'm inspired for this year, and um, I know we're going to make this an amazing, phenomenal year. And next year, we'll all be back here. We're going to invite you back right now for ne- in the beginning next year. We'll have you on this year Thank you. as well, and then we're going to talk about, about all the change that we've change done. That we've Anytime. created together. Anytime. Thank you so much. So thank I'll you spread for the word. Yeah, thank you for listening to the Create It Now radio show. Make sure you join us every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 3 to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Lots of amazing guests and organizations who are out there creating change. And if you want to 
are one of those creating change, send us an email, create at createitnowmedia.com. Don't forget to dream big, take action, and create it now. Have an amazing weekend.